um, B. Chung, I was like, what? How? <laughs> because the weird thing is that I, um, I, I went to school with B. I went to elementary, middle, and high school with B. And his sister. <laughs> Um, so it just was a really weird coincidence. And also, B's sister took piano lessons from my mom for like for many years. So it was just a very strange coincidence. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered here in this beautiful setting, in the presence of all inclusive wisdom and all embracing compassion, Amida Buddha, to share with Reed and Caroline, one of the most important and significant moments in their lives. I stand here today, solid in my love for you. I am and always will be your partner. With all my heart, strength, and fortitude from this day forward. From the moment that we met, I felt an instant connection and once you were truly put into my life, I couldn't imagine my life without you. I believe that we can overcome any obstacle together. I believe our best moments are ahead of us. And because of this and much more, I vow to always love you. I am excited and looking forward to reaching all of our goals that we have for our life together, and most importantly, to being your wife. I love you. I'd like to present you the Nenju. In the Jodo Shinshu Buddhist tradition, the Nenju is a symbol of unity of sentient beings with Amida Buddha. It is a reminder of the Buddha's wisdom and compassion that embraces and guides us always. <laughs> on the authority vested on me by the state of Hawaii, and the Hompa Honganji Mission of Hawaii. I now pronounce you husband and wife.
First of all, before we have our words of thanksgiving, I'd like to express my heartfelt congratulations to uh, Reed and Carrie for this such a wonderful uh, day. And I'd like to express my appreciation for uh, allowing me to be with you this, uh, this such a wonderful occasion. So when Reed asked me to do this speech, I had to Google it too because I've been away from the islands for too long. For those of you guys that don't know, it's from the friends and guests giving you all your aloha, your respect, your energy to the bride, the shimpu, and the groom, shinro. So after I say banzai, you say banzai, and that gives them 10,000 years of luck and happiness. Yeah, so. Shinro, shimpu, banzai! 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 For those who don't know, Carrie's grandpa Kamamoto my dad really looked forward to doing the bonsai toast at his grandchildren's weddings. Grandpa Tamamoto is not here physically, but he's with us in spirit. Uh, <clears throat> Grandpa's bonsai toast were simple, but they were special because Don knew just how important family was. Uh, Reed and Carrie, can I give you some advice? Well, yes, even without permission. <laughs> Enjoy every day you have together. Each day is a gift. And remember, as Grandpa would say, be kind to one another and stay together. Aihe no minasama, banzai! 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 So, uh, I'm Jenny. I'm Kathy. We are Carrie's older My sisters. sisters. I didn't really know Reed that well back then, but what I did know is that um, he was one of those high-achieving teacher's pet types. <laughs> he, was, he was student council president. He took a ton of AP classes. He was in band. That's how I knew him was in band. But, um, and I never thought I would be related to Reed Chung. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm so lucky. And, <laughs> but it's been such a pleasure. I mean, getting to know Reed the past couple it's been, it's, you know, it's unexpected, but it's been such a blessing for, I think, for me, and I'm very proud to welcome him to our family. Um, yeah, we're just excited uh, to him, for you and me. <laughs> Congratulations, Reed and Carrie. Welcome to the family, Reed, officially. You know, I know you started calling our mom, mom, a long time ago, but now it's official. So it's okay. Uh, and, you know, you know, our family adores you. You know, like, um, our, all our kids, they just love you. We're just really, you know, really, really excited to see our families continue to just get to know one and, uh, each other better and uh, just, you know, just grow up together. So, <laughs> But Carrie, you really got yourself a great guy that's going to be by your side. I know my life wouldn't be the same without him. And he's really lucky to have you as you guys both create these new defining moments in your lives together. So if we can raise our glasses and toast to read and carry and their journey together as husband and wife. Cheers. So over the years, uh, Reed became uh, one of my best friends. Uh, he's always been there for me and has been my older brother, and the older brother I never had. Uh, that's why I'm so proud and honored to be by his side today. And Carrie, I was hoping to be the best looking person in the room today. Definitely wasn't Taylor, um, but I obviously failed as well. Uh, you look beautiful, and I'm so happy that Reed uh, has found an incredible woman. So we need to find out who is the real best man. Is it contestant number one? Is it contestant number two? Congratulations, the best man is Andre Plotnik. Thank you very much. Um, this song seems so appropriate. Um, I know that you fell in love with this song when you saw the movie, The Greatest Show, um, The Greatest Showman. Um, and so a long time ago, Reed, you would appreciate this. I remember Carrie was telling me um, that she really, she kind of wished, she envied the relationship that Jenny and I had because she wished, she wanted to be with somebody who she could spend all of her time with and, and even including working together. And um, 
when, when you guys got together, one of the things that she said was that she felt that you wanted to be with her all the time and you guys, you always wanted to do things together, even if it was working with her on her plays and helping her out with her productions at Dillalani High School or trying to help us out at Ohana Arts or the business, all of that. And she, I remember her being so happy that she had found that in somebody. And so this song seems very appropriate um, because it's all about building a life together. So of course we dedicate this to you and wish you a very happy forever. Cause every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. Ladies and gentlemen, nice round of applause for Mr. and Mrs. Reed and Carolyn. I have to get used to the name, always say Carrie. Chuck, nice round of applause. I know these two, I, I probably told a story earlier, I know these two uh, separately and also together because. Reed used to be uh, our banker back when he was with. Bank of Hawaii, and and help my wife and I, and then Carrie was the uh, teacher and uh, acting coach for my son through Ohana Arts, and then getting to know them together, I'm just like, my wife and I were like, not the dating, not, but but see, uh, and then we saw them together like, wow. So this is just a picture of our family, and we just. So this is just a picture of our family, um, and you know we just we know you know our grandpa is not here anymore, but grandma really lives. She she um, continues the legacy of our family and where we all came from, and really we wouldn't be here you know without without you, um, and we're just we're very thankful to still have you in our lives and um, just to follow in your footsteps. So thank you, grandma. Continue to do into our legacy. You know. 